Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are at the Save Expo. Today is day two. We got here yesterday and we are set up with our friends at Snorkel Upgrade. Here's Rampage and its final product. So over the last couple of months, we did the clean off-road three and a half inch lift. We transferred everything over from Ruby. We did the AEV snorkel install. So thanks to Nate at AEV. Over here, we got a new sticker for the channel. So check it out. Got a rooftop tent hooked up. And then over here, we finished up the rear bumper. So we got our 37, 1350 Toyo MT back here. We've been cooking in the back. Over on this side, we've got our Harbor Freight Jack inside the Grove Fabworks mount. This is one of the uh, Expedition One jerry cans. And then we got our new Dometic uh, water tap. So pretty sweet setup. We got this awesome 392 behind us. So. And this is a Jeep that gets used. We're gonna have a great time at the show. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get the notifications for early access. Check us out over on TikTok and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Roll the video. Hold on. Nothing draws a crowd more than food. And over here, we found the off-grid and wheel team, and they are cooking up a storm over here using some Timbo Tusk grills. So tell us a little bit about the Timbo Tusk. Hey, everybody. I am Brian with Off-Grid Wheels. Super stoked to be here with John. So today we've got here our Timbo Tusk Scottle. We've got some breakfast tacos going. We've got some andouille sausage, some onions, some eggs, and some cheese. Food just somehow tastes better in the Scottle. So we've got here is we went ahead and we diced up some andouilles, di diced up some onions, and we're just making breakfast for everybody out here. The Scottle is one of the most amazing pieces of gear. It's versatile tile flat packs all into one bag you can take it with you everywhere whether it's to the beach whether it's to your kids soccer game or even on a camping trip so it's not just something that's specifically designed to go camping um, it's one of the most amazing pieces of gear out there super lightweight whole thing weighs about 23 pounds adjustable legs because I mean we go camping in places that are always perfectly level right. so definitely if you guys haven't checked out the Scottle go to tembotus.com go ahead and check it out and thank you guys for being here yeah we love cooking for you I noticed you stole Jim over there from get truck so he's trying to hide in the back hey we guys, did so we check did him out a few things make sure you go follow him over at off and wheel on Instagram check out Timbo Tusk the Scottles they've got everything from a big Scottle to the small one you can take with your motorcycle you pack out shelves they do slide outs and overall great company American made and serving up great food so go check them out all right guys so we're over here at Dark Wolf Overland and they have a pretty good setup so when I bought my Jeep I didn't have the Molly panels like my 2021 Rubicon did so here's another option for you if you uh, want a Molly system so I'm gonna turn it over to Nicholas tell us all about it so as you can see these are Molly organizers they come with three bags and then the back piece uh, they have pocket they have a little pocket right here it's good to put you know radios on it knives flashlights anything you want um, you could also, it protects the seat on the back. You just, as you can see, you just clip it onto the back of the seat. Great, easy to install. Um, it protects the back of the seat. If you have kids, they could put their feet up there. It won't get dirty. Um, yeah. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it, Nicholas. And tell them where they can get it. So it's they, pretty easy to get it, right? On our Instagram, we have a link to our Amazon. You can buy it on there. 
So follow that link, check them out on Amazon.com, and you know Amazon, Prime Delivery, straight to your house. Awesome, thanks Nicholas. Hey guys, so excited to have Rob from Revere Overland on the channel. I'm gonna let you talk a little bit about your rig and sure. the brand, if sure. you uh, wanna talk about Yeah, you want it. me to show you? I yeah, mean, absolutely. We, uh, we, we, we met did. at Expo East and we you did. gave us a good look, walk around. Yeah, and, um, so I guess we can just do a couple of updates, because yeah. obviously something's changed on the back here. We just uh, got our alley cab put on. I'd say maybe a month and a half ago, yeah. and uh, have started outfitting the inside of it. Uh, and if you look inside, you can see yeah. we're starting to develop some drawer systems and cabinets. And how much power are you guys pushing? Because you got the 75 and a microwave. Uh, in there. Yeah. Uh, so all that's running off. Uh, well, the microwave's on a thousand watt inverter, uh, and that's hooked up to a 315 amp hour lithium battery. Yeah. At the moment. And so it's now you, the baby, the wife, mm -hmm. and everybody slept good last night? Oh yeah, we slept good last night. It was a little muggy. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be putting a, a exhaust fan on the top so yeah. we can get some circulation coming through. But uh, yeah, we, we all slept pretty well last night. Yeah. And if you're interested in you cab, Rob just did a great video on breaking down every little piece when he went through and ordered his of yeah. what you did get, what you didn't get, and kind of why you didn't get it. Yeah, so you can see that on uh, Revere Overland on YouTube. All right. And, uh, I contact my friends at Commonwealth 4 by 4 as well. They're the people who did this, and they can uh, help you out if you've got any questions about the alley cab. Awesome. Well, look forward to the future adventures. Uh, and how was Alaska? Oh, incredible. So, so you guys yeah. went up there, you ran a tundra, and yeah, you basically guys... like this. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, definitely right. recommend this. Yeah, go go check out the Alaska special too. So yeah. thanks, Rob. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're over at the AVO booth and we've got a special guest from Power Break over here. So I'm gonna turn it over to DeLon and he's gonna tell you all about it. Hey guys, thanks very much. Uh, so we're a family company. We manufacture everything in South Africa and then we're based out of North Carolina in the US. We are 100% focused on four by four brakes. So we don't do anything else. We really wanna upgrade your brakes for all the weight, uh, bigger wheel and tires, everything that you're doing to your four by four. We wanna give you that drivability and just that safety aspect of making the vehicle safe to drive with your family while we're going on all the adventures and so on. So I'm going to show you quickly what an X-Line Big Brake Kit is. So the first thing is this would be for, for a Tacoma 4Runner Jeep Gladiator for example. So it's a 13.7 inch rotor. What's really critical is you'll see inside here we have a curved vein design. So what that happens is like a centrifugal pump. It's going to suck air into the center of the rotor and we want to flow the air over as quickly as possible to manage the temperature because all this extra weight that we put on the bigger wheel and tires for rotational mass we increasing temperature so we want to manage that what's also really cool if you come in here you'll see every single rotor has got temperature measurement paint on so what this will do is it'll hold the highest temperature that the brake system has ever run to so that allows us to make informed decisions around brake pad compounds about what's actually going on while you're using the brakes then moving over to the caliper is we run a six piston billet aluminum caliper. Nice. So the first thing we do here is we have this big bridge over the top. That's gonna give a lot of rigidity. So we don't want the cali caliper to be flexing under pressure. So this bridge will give you that rigidity. Then very uniquely, we bolt from the back of the caliper, which gives us a lot of wheel clearance. So if you're running bead locker wheels, anything like that, then we wanna fit under the wheels as best as possible. So that's a big thing. Then temperature measurement on the rotor, on the caliper, sorry. And so that allows us to know what temperature the calipers ever run to. Everything is recessed away. So you'll see how the bleeder screws are recessed. Everything is protected away. So if a stone or a rock comes through the brakes or through the wheel, it's not gonna rip off anything on the caliper. And then very uniquely, we run stainless steel pistons, not aluminum, and that'll, that transfers heat a lot slower towards your brake fluid. And we don't have the rubbishy boots. If you come in here, you'll see on the originals, they have these boots there that get yeah, brittle they tear and, and dry yeah, crack and they get time. damaged and stuff. But what happens then, all that, uh, if you're going through a lot of dirt roads and water crossings, etc., all that muck's going into the, into the brake fluid. So we run internal wiper seals. So we always make sure that, you, that, your, that your brake fluid is protected and we're not getting all of that in. Yeah, and it comes as a complete bolt-on solution. So it, you, you can literally do it in your driveway. It's it got very detailed instructions. It's packaged left wheel, right wheel. So yeah, it's a really, really 
positive upgrade and you, you, it'll make a big difference to the drivability and the feeling of the vehicle. Okay, and then price point for uh, so, generally a set? Yeah, so you're looking for like a Gladiator, Tacoma, 4Runner, you're looking at $2,675. Okay. Um, it is an investment in your vehicle, you know, that is a that is something where you have to plan it and invest it, but right. really the, 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 the return on investment is massive and you'll really enjoy the drivability. Awesome, well, appreciate it. All right, thanks, Thank man. you, sir. All right, all right guys, so now we heard it from Power Break. Let's go over here to Meg, and she's gonna tell us all about AVO. Hey guys, what's up? Um, thanks so much for watching. So we have a four wheel drive shop in um, Asheville, North Carolina, and then also in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, so you can come to our shop. We've got full showrooms there. Um, we've got uh, rooftop tents, canopy campers. We've got the sliding campers there at our Jacksonville location. Get anything from your, your overland accessories to just basic like suspension and bumper and all that stuff. And we can install it there too. Um, we have a full service shop that we can do all that. We're a family run business. Um, a lot of the people that work with us are all family. What's your favorite vehicle build that you guys have done? Um, yeah, so we have two of our AVO trucks here. Um, this one we've got over here, this is the AVO Ram. And Sweet. on this one we've got a, um, it's a flatbed camper. And uh, this is one of the four wheel campers. So we've got the Mitz alloy tray on here, fully built camper inside, you know, the AEV bumper. We've got the Carly suspension on this one. Um, and then over here, we've got our AVO Gladiator. And on this one, we have, we actually have the power brakes that you learned about with the lawn. And on this one, we've got the Alucab stuff. We've got the contour canopy, the Gen 3R rooftop tent, shadow awning. Um, we've got Olin suspension on this one. Um, so yeah, we build, this is, this is what we do at AVO. We build trucks like this and uh, yeah, be sure to stop by if you're in uh, Mills River, North Carolina or um, in Jacksonville, Florida. Come awesome. say hi. All right, guys. Thanks, Meg. Yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> hey, guys. So we're over at StickyVinyls.com. They've got a booth here, and they've got some pretty cool uh, Jeep builds. So I'm going to turn it over to Richie. He's going to tell you a little bit about the Jeep build and Sticky Vinyl. Take it away. All right. Hi, guys. So Richie with Sticky Vinyls here. We're at Jacksonville, Florida. We do texture topographic vinyl as one of our hottest products. And what we do is we use uh, we use wrap cast vinyl. So it's a much premier. It's air release, and you can wrap around your contour curves like that. But our biggest feature is the fact that every Every con contour line in your topographic map has a feel to it. You can actually feel it, yeah. every line, and you can see over here, you can customize it as well if you have any, um, uh, any sponsors. And everything is cut to size. This kit right here comes in three pieces. You got your tailgate piece around your tail lights as well, and it comes like that. We also have your custom, your uh, social tags, you can do that. You have your capside kits. Now the good thing about this is you don't have to pick the pre-design. We do have lots of maps like Moab, Rubicon, Denali, uh, National Forest. But if you have a location, we can also do that for you, right? If you have a specific location, we can pick that topographic map and you can choose it in there. Obviously your border colors can be customized. You have different in inserts as well. Um, you have your side fenders, your hood sides, and then your hood tops as well. Um, we have models for the Broncos, uh, the Jeep Gladiators, the Jeep Wranglers, the Toyota Tacomas, and anything else that you guys have, I'm pretty sure we can make it for you. Awesome. Uh, website is www.stickyvinyls, with the Z at the end, dot com. And that's uh, out of Jacksonville, Florida. So we're gonna talk about the rig a little bit. So we got, is this a Mojave or a Rubicon? Yeah, so this one is uh, this one is a Mojave. It's sitting on 40 inch Mickey Thompson's with a four inch ready lift. It does have 513 gears on it. Okay. It's a beast of a rig, as you guys can see. Uh, took out the inner fender flares. It is running, uh, like I said, the ready lift, but it's amazing. It's yeah. an amazing rig. She rides smooth, uh, very, very well built. Awesome. I oh, appreciate it, Richie. Thanks. No problem. Thank you, guys. And so if you want, guys want to order your own sticky vinyl set, go over there, stickyvinyls.com. Right, yeah. Hey, guys, so we're over at the uh, Sunshine Adventure Company. They are the creators and founders of the FAT, so I'm going to turn it over to John, and John is going to tell you all about it. Well, hey, everybody. Uh, my name's John. Uh, I'm the owner of Sunshine State Adventure Company. We are the creators of Florida's first and only self-guided overland route. Uh, it is about an eight-day trip, 1,200 miles, all mapped out for you, 100-ish campsites marked as well. You can go to our website, floridaadventuretrail.com, to download the GPX files, um, and then you can upload them to Onyx, Avenza, 
Gaia, whatever GPS app that you use and kind of follow the yellow brick road and plan your own adventure. So we'd love for you guys to check it out. Um, we're also partnering now with All Roads Taken, which is something we're really excited about. Um, obviously, Jeep has a really incredible program with the Jeep badges, but that's only available to people that have Jeep. So I'm going to grab it here. Um, we're now partnering with All Roads Taken. They have uh, come out with their own version of the Jeep badge that's available to anyone. And so you can hop on their website. We have them here as well. Um, but they have badges for obviously the Florida Adventure Trail now, but they have uh, badges for basically every single route, trail you could possibly think of at this point. They're constantly adding more. They've added national parks, state forests. It's a really awesome program. And they have an app as well where you can track your journeys and kind of journal about your trips and stuff like that. So definitely check out All Roads Taken. We're really proud to partner with them. So make sure you check them out. Thanks, John. And last thing is, you don't see too many people wheeling Xterras. I know my buddy <laughs> Dave wheels his, but John's had this Xterra. Tell us a little bit. How long have you had it? And, you know, she looks pretty capable. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is my Nissan Xterra. It's a 2010 Nissan Xterra. Um, we call her Big Tuna because um, <laughs> she's white albacore. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's uh, fully Titan swapped. It's got um, – it's twin locked front and rear. Uh, so this is all uh, Titan suspension uh, products. Nissan Titan, you know, OEM takeoff stuff. Rad Flow, uh, Bilstein, you know, uh, extended reservoir, belly skids the whole way back, rock sliders, you name it. Um, we've got full power on board and water, rooftop tent, the whole nine yards. So awesome. it's uh, I, I consider it more of a rock verlander than just an <laughs> overlander. So um, yeah, we beat the snot out of it. Um, looking forward to going out and doing some stuff out west here in the next year. It'll be cool. Awesome. Well, so one quick question. Yeah. So I've, I've seen a lot of Nissan guys talk Titan swaps. Yep. So did you do this one yourself or how hard is it to do? Yeah, it's it really, you just, um, there's actually a lot of companies where actually Z1 Off-Road is one of them and you can go right over to Z1 Off-Road's website and you yeah. can buy a Titan swap. But back in the day, guys realized that with the Frontiers and the Nissan Titans, you could um, run Nissan Titan upper lower control arms, axles, differential, all of that stuff and put beefier, uh, you know, products into the uh, into your Nissan Xterra and Frontier. So awesome. if you ever see a big Frontier or Xterra, oh, yeah. it's Titan swap. Oh, so. yeah. And these things, I love that profile, how yeah, wide man. they stick yeah. out. Yeah. Yep. It just it's changes cool. the look of it because it looks like it's running 30 30- Sevens, but yep. you got 35s on Yeah, there. absolutely. So here soon, um, we're going to be upgrading this some more, and the plan is to run 38s. Wow. Uh, my buddy Matt from Rome 4 Low, he's running 38s on his Frontier, and that's unacceptable to me. So uh, <laughs> he's going to help me out. Uh, Rome 4 Low is a, a fabrication shop, an off-road shop in uh, Georgia. He's a good friend of mine, so we're going to get together, and we're going to try to make this thing the baddest uh, exterior on the planet. So it's going to be cool. Awesome. Yep. All right, appreciate it, John. It's always appreciate a pleasure. Hey, guys, we're over at the CSUN. Booth. I'm going to turn it over to Genevieve because I've really seen this company take off over the last year. So uh, Genevieve, tell us all about Sea Sucker. Oh, well, hi guys. Welcome to the Sea Sucker booth here at SAVE. So everything we do is vacuum mounted. So we um, create non-permanent mounts that don't involve you drilling holes, mounting permanent brackets, all of that stuff. Anything you might need for overlanding, off-roading, um, camping, and kind of everything in between, we have for you. So you'll see on our Jeep here, not only are our crossbars vacuum mounted, but everything on the side of this vehicle too, our trash holders, um, These kitchens stations. are pretty cool, I like those. Yeah, we have our kitchen station and our sink station set up, which is great for, I love it for food prep, but right. honestly, I've seen people use it for a whole bunch of things. Anything you might need a horizontal surface yeah. to the side of your vehicle. Um, right here, recovery mounts, cup holders, I mean, and everything in between. Awesome. All right, guys, check them out over at seasucker.com. Thanks, Genevieve. Hey, guys, so I saw these crazy awnings I've never seen before, and we stopped in at the Bundy Tech booth, and I'm going to turn it over to Jen, and she's going to tell you all about it. Hey, guys, so I'm Jen with Bundy Tech USA. We're in uh, northeast Iowa. Um, we import from South Africa these great awnings, and we ship all lower 48. All prices include freight. So both Jeeps have what we call the Bundu on, which is the original 360. So it's 360 because it covers the front and the back of the, of the vehicle. It'll mount to any roof rack that has a vertical surface. It comes in an eight foot length and a nine foot six length, and then I can special order anything longer for some of the larger vans. Um, but with our awnings, 
It's a ripstop material out of South Africa, so it's a military grade material, and they actually spray coat the top to make it aluminized so it reflects the heat away, awesome. um, which makes a huge difference in the sun. And then they have integrated two pitch arms when you open the awning to give you that rainfall um, drop. So it doesn't pool water, it drains really easily, um, and those deploy and retract with the awning. So you're not okay. having to worry about trying to install them as you open the awning. Oh, as you pull okay. the arms around, they automatically pop up and then they fold back so down. it automatically pops up the extra lift yeah. height wedge yep, and everything lifts. yep awesome. and then when you bring it around to close it they yeah. fold back down so awesome. and then they store on the side of the vehicle in a bag um, a zippered case yeah. made out of that same material so it's super robust um, I'm five foot six and we have a three inch lift on the Jeep. So I do have a two step step stool that I use. <laughs> I think we do. When we first had it and it was low to the ground, it wasn't a problem. And then yeah. we added the lift kit and I was like, now I need a ladder. Yes, ma'am. Um, but I can still do it by myself. So awesome. it's super easy to deploy. We do have it tied down the guide rope store on the end of the bolt on the inside at the okay. base where the pivots are. Yeah. Um, but we do have it tied down because last year I didn't have it secured down and we had 60 mile an hour winds and I broke a bar so yeah. um, this year we made sure to tie it down so and then you can use the poles for additional support and then I have the panels on the back side as well which are new um, I'm working on a set that we can offer with the awnings um, and those do need the addition of the pole just for the weight but um, super versatile fits many different vehicles this awnings just over three years old the one on the green jeep is almost seven years old now um, so I mean and Tom with the green jeep he's used his all over the place yeah. um, so it's just been a great awning and the comp you know they're stand they're sturdy we stand by them we use the product ourselves yeah um, obviously I'm a little bit biased with that but <laughs> I've never seen an awning that has the drain and the pitch like what we yeah offer. and what is the price point on um, these? so the price point is around sixteen hundred dollars okay. that includes shipping anywhere in the lower 48 okay um, Right now, we've got a special on our website because of the Save Expo this weekend yeah. as well. Um, BundatechUSA.com is the website for that. But, um, you know, it's just one of those things. It's super universe. And usually during the summer months, we run quite a few specials okay. just because it is show season. So Awesome. Um, and we do offer demo awnings and stuff as well that have been taken off of our builds or other builds okay. for people if they're looking at trying something but at not the full price. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Jen. Yeah. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Yes, Thank you guys. So we're over at the world famous Extrusion Overland booth and I've got Travis again and he's going to tell us all about Extrusion Overland and this little cool gladiator setup. Take it away, Travis. Yeah, this is a very cool gladiator setup, but we make them for pretty much every truck out there on the market. Uh, this particular one is a 17 inch height uh, is what he went with. He's got an axis gate on this side, which is the lift up side so you can access your whole bed. Yeah. Then over here on the other side, because you can't have them on this, a lift up and a slide out on the same side. Right. On this one, he's got a slide out. Sweet. So you can mount. So he's got a big water port or a uh, no, this box. is like a yeah, like a case. Uh, go, okay. You know, but you can put whatever you know, yeah. roto packs, water port, uh, midnight force, whatever you want to put on there, as long as your rack is tall enough. Yeah. You can put it over there and slide it out, and then when you you know access it do whatever and then you just push it back in yeah. and it's got a lock right there that you twist and so that won't slide awesome. um, you can go any height you want up to about one to two inches above cab height right just depends on where your tent needs to lie what kind of setup you're going with yeah. so that's you know the great thing about our racks is you don't just have three choices low yeah. medium and high you but can get the, whatever inch you want but i know i've looked on the website it can be a little bit overwhelming you guys do have some pre-set racks yeah though, we right? consider them pre-configured and yeah. it's people that just want to go on and click and i want a low medium high and want it you know don't want to go design their own rack. right if you need a certain height or you're looking for a certain bed bracket because we make uh different bed brackets this one here does not support a tonneau cover. Okay. We make one that's called a wide wing bracket, which sticks out a little bit further. And you, those are pretty much compatible with any roll up style tonneau covers. Okay. Folding covers are not compatible. Gotcha. Then we make, there's a couple of uh, tonneau covers that are on the market now that have T slots okay. that run on the top, like retracts, uh, roll and lock. There's, there's a few of them now. And we make specific brackets and the rack will actually mount to those T-slots. Awesome. Those you have to do in the build your own. So if you have any of those, if any of those apply to you, you need to go through the build your own to get those options. Awesome. All right, well, I appreciate it, Travis. Thanks so much. Yeah, Check man, them enjoy. out at uh, yeah. extrusionoverland.com. All right, have a good day, man. Awesome. Over here to the left, they're doing a lot of classes this weekend. So I got two seminar tents. 
So if you want to learn about anything from medical to recovery, they have all kinds of classes. Here's a Rhino Rack USA booth. A lot of big names come down to this event, so it's a great one. We've got James Baroud. Dobinson. Hey guys, so we're over at the Defiance Tool booth. And so we're here with Zoe and she's gonna tell us all about Defiance Tools. I picked up one of their knives, you know, last Expo East and I love it. So tell us all about Defiance Tools. Awesome, good morning everyone. So we have a few new items that we're excited to have. So we have a fold flat little grill. It's all stainless, folds down like a little puzzle piece, made in the US for us. Awesome. Bag is also made in the US for us. We also include a heat resistant carbon fiber mat to help protect whatever surface you're cooking on. And then we also have our new camp tables. Okay. So this is what it looks like folded down. Yeah. And this is what they look like all folded up. They pop up. Nice. Case to hold them. And then there's shelves in there to add some stability. And then yeah. they come in and out. And then newer this year also is our gear roll. Okay. So traditional tool roll you can use it as a traditional tool roll or as a camp kitchen yeah uh, these all velcro off and on okay. so you can arrange it as you wish and then this is what it looks like all folded up awesome and talk to me about the coffee grinder I see the yes. nice coffee grinder you back bet. there so it's all stainless coffee grinder uh, ceramic burr mechanism uh, pretty simple to use handle comes off to right. get to the beans but also to make it a little easier to store right beans go in the top and the adjustment setting is here, so you can go super fine to super coarse, and then when you grind, it all grinds down into the bottom cup. Nice, yeah, I, I think I picked mine up from Kroger, so I don't have one that's that compact, that nice, and that sturdy, and you guys have a great price on them. Is that a show special? So, grinder itself is $29.99. Wow. We also do a kit with our French press, the grinder, a bag to hold them both, and some coffee, and that's $69.99. Awesome, all right, well, thank you, ma'am. Thank hey, you. guys, so we're over at the uh, truck booth. Ben's over there with a the customer, but we featured truck on the channel several times, I love their molly panel design. Uh, this is the only bed rack you can use a true uh, tonneau cover with. Uh, looks like they've got these new medium bars for their high rack. And so they've got molly panels. You can mount your tent. 100% US design and made. And they always come out with new stuff. So kayak brackets. And then he was showing us the Rhino ratchet attachment. They've got all kinds of different racks. And then over here, Here's the show special pricing. Uh, six and a half inch, 1249, 24 and a half, 1849. Uh, cost with that is, of course, uh, manufacturing. And if you uh, military, you get a military discount. So check them out at gettruck.com. Guys, I have never seen so many FJ80s. Those are sweet. I got the Toyota 4Runner build behind it. Clean, of course, classic ARB front bull bar, side rails. And you got the bumper on the back. This one's a King's Chariot Overland. It's beautiful. So guys, got a little bit of an insider info for you. Cosmo tires, brand new, but they come with a legacy. So can't talk a whole lot about that, but they sell, you know, look at this high performance tire for rain. Looks like an all season tire and then pretty aggressive mud tire with some pretty decent siping on here. Looks cool. So keep your eye out for Cosmo tires. This is called their mud kicker. And let's just see how they do. They may, uh, they may be the next up and coming major tire carrier. Hey guys, so we're over here at the Outland Motor Works booth. Uh, they have a bunch of redneck awnings, but they're gonna talk to you a little bit about power stations too. So I'm gonna turn it over to Grant. Grant's gonna talk you all, all through it. What's going on guys? So uh, one of the big things that is hot right now, of course, is everybody's trying to get power. And so we have come out and we're working with a line called Powerness. Uh, and uh, this is all solar based stuff. Uh, you're looking at lithium batteries, anywhere from a 300 up to a 1500 that we're running. Um, and uh, obviously we've also got the solar panels that go with them, uh, anywhere um, from down to an 80 all the way up to a 200 watt panel uh, to kind of keep everything cycling and moving. And of course, if you're just running a fridge or something, something like a 500 is gonna run great, uh, but a 1500, 
that's the whole combang. You know, that can hold up for quite a while. Uh, good charging. And uh, the, the systems um, also have a, uh, the, the actual battery packs have a five-year warranty and uh, the solar panels have a two-year warranty on them as well. So. Yeah, and so I did a full battery install and I had a little Jackery like 240. And when I went to the fridge, I was having to constantly, it would run overnight. And then while well, I was hooked up to the car, but like it would have to charge back up. So say I'm new and I'm just getting a fridge, which one would you recommend as far as to go with? If you're going say Friday, Saturday, Sunday to an event like this and may or may not start your Jeep back up. Well, yeah, and if you're not going to be using the panels, that's going to fluctuate on how long you can get out of it. But something like a uh, 500, you could run almost two days yeah. as long as you've got it pre-cooled. Um, you can run it without having to really hit it again. Um, but now, for most people, I'd suggest somewhere around a thousand right. uh, or 1500 okay. uh, up in there, and that's going to get you quite a few days without having to run anything and maybe hit it with the solar panels every once yeah. in a while uh, just to kind of keep it topped off. Yeah. So awesome. Yeah. And then you guys also do the awning setups too, intense, right? Yeah, yeah. So we do the awnings. We've got any anywhere from a 180 to a 270. Uh, and then we have what's called the big one and that kind of swings all the way around. It's an extended uh, 270. Um, and so uh, we, we run those. They've got the walls and this has been great for yeah. us, especially with the rain or if it's a little chilly, put oh, down yeah. the walls and uh, you've kind of got a place to hang out and even run a little fire pit or something. So Awesome. Yeah. All right guys, so if you're interested in either solar power or a camp setup, whether it's an awning or a tent, check them out over at Outland Motorworks. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks. Grant. Have a good day. Cooking a snake he found on the side of the road. Freaking Four crazy. Weeks ago, man. I'll put it in the freezer. He'll eat anything. And don't put your tires near him. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey guys, we're back at day three of the Stark Expo here in uh, Florida, and we did a little upgrade to the Jeep last night. I'll let you guys check it out. This is the 43 inch antenna from uh, Big Five Overland. And I'm gonna yes, turn it over to McCain. Tell us all about awesome. it, you guys want it. Awesome. So yeah, my name's McCain, this is Bobbin, and we run okay. uh, Big Five Overland. And uh, yeah, as you said, day three at the save event here, and we're having a great time this weekend. And we're very grateful for him representing us, and he purchased a 43 inch uh, GMRS antenna from us. And that is what we do, we do heavy duty GMRS antennas three different sizes, 22 inch, 30 inch, and 43 inch. And he got the big 43 inch and it looks great. Yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, so I love my Midland, nothing bad about that, but this <laughs> antenna, you know, price point's good and I'm supporting local business here in Atlanta, yes, Georgia. Sir. So, you know, yes, support your local community. Yeah. And uh, appreciate you guys hooking yes, sir, me we up. appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, we'll see you around. Awesome. All right, guys, so we're back with Lewis and our uh, Inca 4x4 friends. Uh, Lewis is going to tell you a little bit about the gear and the Save Expo. We've had a great time. Today is day three, and today's the final day. So, But if you missed the sales this weekend, tell them all about uh, what you got going on, Lewis. Yeah, so it's uh, thanks again for having me. It's Lewis with Inca 4x4. Make sure to go to our website, IncaOverlandOutfitters.com, where you can get everything from fridges, stoves, rooftop tents, uh, campers. All that gear but i'll just highlight one of the uh, best piece of equipment that um i like to recommend to people and it's our uh trail bags yeah. they're um upgraded this is our series two they're all pvc there's a compartment there uh, on the side for a collapsible toilet and also on the inside to keep a, a collapsible fire pit um, what happens a lot is people get Oh, bags right. like this he was telling me about his trash <laughs> yeah and so they fade and and that, that's barely a, a season old oh, so wow. um so yeah that we we also do uh the tool bags yep. um that you've seen on, on that. Yeah. tool on the channel and uh yeah we're um, a new ice co dealer so um what i like about the ice co's is uh they come with a five-year warranty on the compressor yeah. All right, guys, so this is the APL 55. I went with the 75, but this is an awesome fridge, especially if you've got a Gladiator with how much stuff you can store in there. It's single zone or dual zone, and it automatically knows it's like a smart fridge, and it's almost completely sealed. Um, but the app great. is also really um, user-friendly, yeah. and they have like a eco mode. You could put it in to save the battery. Yeah. Um, it's available in black too. We really oh, like yeah. the, the black color. Yeah. Um, and even these little ice co 20 liters, uh, if you pack things right, you, yeah. know, you can. This is a good weekend. Oh wow. Um, fridge. You can get cans here and some food there. Yeah. And it's an um, actual uh, fridge freezer, and it's got um, controls on the side here. Yeah. Yeah. I always like your can crusher, you know, if you go to these events and you drink a lot of like sparkling water or other beverages, like having a can crusher saves you a lot of space and packing out trash. So. Yeah. Um, so we, yeah, we carry everything from alley cap stuff to overland vehicle systems. Um, we do um, 23-0, um, Boone to Tech, um, yeah. pretty much all, all the major brands. So cool. whatever you guys need, feel free to reach out to our website and um, be more than glad to help you, you know, save a little bit of money. Yeah, and what's the uh, the light bar over there? Yeah, so this is a Morimoto reverse light. Yeah. It's a 2700 lumens. Um, so when... You, Watch my eyes. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you um, put the vehicle in reverse, yeah. um, it just it's a good way to just throw some light if you yeah. don't have a setup yet. Because um, a lot of times people get bumpers and you've got to get pods and it, it can get really expensive. So this is uh, ninety dollars okay. um, for the expo here. We have them for seventy. Nice. So it's just an easy install, and you know you get good light. Nice. Yeah. What do you think about the new Anchor? I know they're a brand new system. You guys are just testing it out. Do you think it's pretty good? Yeah. Seems yeah. Blast. Um, I've had it. Um, pretty much. I did another video. You guys could check out. I did a whole weekend with it. Yeah. And. Um, charging up the, the um, fridges is perfect awesome. so if you're not doing like a whole dual battery setup it's it's pretty easy you know you just um, they have the hyper flash charge it charges under an hour and yes yeah, awesome. 
really good. Hey guys, check them out at uh, IncaOverlandOutfitters.com or YouTube or Instagram at Inca 4x4. So thanks, Luce. Appreciate it, man. Awesome. Good to see you. So we're at Rome 4 Low, and I'm going to introduce you guys to Matt. But if you look behind Matt, there is an awesome Nissan Frontier with a flatbed custom build. And I just saw that thing crawl up some rocks and yank out a Toyota last night and rescue the day. So, uh, Matt, tell us a little bit about Rome 4 Low and what you guys do. Yeah, um, my name is Matt Brook. Uh, I am the owner of Rome 4 Low. We are a four-wheel drive shop that is based out of Tacoa, Georgia. Um, we recently opened this year. Um, but the reason we did that is we've been hosting guided rides all around the country for a few years and had a bunch of friends that uh, were needing to better prepare their vehicles. So we just recently opened our four-wheel drive shop. But yeah, this off-roading stuff is life to us. Um, travel all around the country doing about 30,000 miles a year. Yeah. And uh, you know, that's part of the reason why we're here. Meet new people and hopefully uh, get some people out on rides with us. Yeah, and do you guys have a website if people want to check you we out? We do. Um, go to roam4low.com. Um, go to all of our social media. It's all roam 4 low okay. uh, R-O-A-M, the number 4 L-O. Yeah. And uh, yeah, come check us out. Come on a ride. Stop by the shop. Um, and yeah, but hopefully we'll see a lot of you guys here next year. All right. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate Thank you. It. Uh, Hey guys, so me up with uh, Old Bop over here. Uh, Old Bop's super cool. He works with Lewis on a lot of things, but he's got his own YouTube channel and uh, building Instagram and everything else. And he's got a really cool Tundra? Yeah, 2000 Tundra. Tundra right? Uh huh, 2000, yeah. yeah. So tell us a little yeah. bit about your, your Toyota Tundra, man. Hey guys, good morning. Old Bob here. Uh, I'm a, you can find me at Overland 1983 with the Zero on Instagram. You can find me on YouTube as Undercover Tundra. The reason I say Undercover Tundra, a lot of people ask about my truck, if it's a Tacoma or Tundra, because I delete all the logos. Yeah. And I did the own design on my truck. Yeah. All done by myself. Uh, bumpers, front bumper, rear bumpers, uh, sliders, everything on the truck. Uh, it's... Um, so we're here at the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo, and I'm here because of the camper. So everything that I have on the truck, uh, some of the stuff we sell, some of the stuff I have bought to use for my weekly use whenever I go camping. I also met John in here. Uh, start building your dreams about a year or so ago. Yeah, super cool guy. I and love your. The Scottle too. So the Scottle yeah. is definitely like the Overlander mainstream thing. To me, I'm still cooking on a stove, but uh, the Scottle yeah. is definitely cool. Yeah, it's a, it's. A, I use both. I use the stove. I use the Scottle. I like them both. It's it's, it's a, camping for me is a, just to go out and have a good time. Yeah. Take your time doing it. Too. Don't rush through it. And a lot like me, all your build is completely DIY. So yeah. Like all the wiring you see up there, like yeah. Bob wired that stuff in. So I have this one uh, a or one eighth of the one sixteen of the inch, uh, no one eighth of the inch plate at home, and I was yeah. able to build my own molly panel yeah, cool. along with the uh, three quarter inch birch wood yeah. covered with felt, and I was able to mount all my units. I have the 100 amp battery down here yeah. under this panel, and that's how I run all my electricity along with the two along with the two uh, 100 amp uh, Renergy solar panels. Yeah. And I also carry my Jackery or sometimes I carry my EcoFlow. Yeah. And so uh, you, you wired up the whole system. You got the inverter, you got the Wanderer by Renergy, and then is that a Red Arc? Um, I have the Red Arc AC-DC, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and right now it's charging. Yeah. Uh, so I'm on solar lithium awesome. right now. I also have my hot water heater shower there. Yeah, that thing is cool. Yeah. And uh, I ran out of the propane tank. And the last two days, I'm, I'm, I haven't hooked it up to a propane because uh, the well, weather has been nice. Hot shower unless you walk all the way down to the uh, yeah, <laughs> all the way down to the shower tents. But they do have yeah. shower tents here, so that's good. Yeah. If you uh, are just getting into overlanding and you come next year, you know, sometimes those home creature comforts are so important, like a shower, a private toilet. Yeah. Uh, don't have the private toilets here yet, but you know. Yeah. Um, when you're out there, that's definitely a thing you guys should get for your, your significant other. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. And uh, you want to walk yeah, around? Yeah, let's walk around. So he's got like this fab shop he works with that does all this stuff to help him out with uh, custom sliders, customer bumper, and you got a custom front bumper too. Yeah, that I built myself. Yeah, the the fabrication shop is a welding shop in Atlanta. 
uh, Fred Martin Welding. They sponsor me, so whenever I need something, I just go there. I tell them what I'm doing. They pick the metal for me. Here, you can have it. Go build whatever you're building. Send us a picture. And this is what I have my truck today. This so far. Uh, but eventually, ARB bumper is going to be going on the front with Motimoto projector lights. Yeah. And then here's the solar panel on the rooftop tent. Yeah. And I got the nine inch unit, uh, five piece Pathfinder yeah. uh, amber lights, along with the five inch four units uh, Procom LED white lights. P50 antenna, I just picked one of those up because I yeah. like my little stubby one. Yeah. And uh, that's cool because those guys are at the Atlanta area too. Yeah, so. so it's been working great with my midline unit. I don't have any interfere or anything like that. My friends, when I'm using the main unit, my friends, they all can hear me even on the trails. Uh, sometimes we'd be like 10 miles away from each other. We still talk on the radio, no issues at all. Uh, I originally had the little skinny antenna midland that came with the unit and eventually I was going to replace it and then our local friend like support your own business, our own business. Uh, so we have a friend, local friend in Atlanta who came out with his own business and this is what he sell and I want to support him and I believe in the product too. So. Okay, yeah. Bob, thanks for the walk around, buddy. Yeah, hey, thank you, trail. John. Thank yeah. you. Today's our last day, and uh, I hope everybody gets to see this and look around and what the expo is about. Awesome. Thanks, Yeah, man. no, thank you, John. <laughs> Have a good day, man. So this is a hard man to catch sometimes, but uh, we missed each other at Great Smoky Mines last year, and we met last year at the Save Expo. But, uh, hey, Bill, tell us a little bit about your setup. Hey, how's it going? Um, actually, I'm doing a little bit of video editing, trying to catch up on some <laughs> stuff on Sunday morning here. Yeah. But uh, this is the new Mission Summit trailer. Uh, we've been in it for almost a month now. Um, it's part of uh, the group of manufacturers that X-Grid Camper sells. Uh, this is another one of those truly off-grid campers that you can take anywhere. And we're going to have it for the next few months and really looking forward to uh, just seeing how much it can do and enjoying this great expansive space in such a small package. Oh yeah, it's it's nice. I, I saw your video out west dragging the camper over rocks and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and you, and it's amazing what these things will take. Th it's amazing. There's a lot of you know a lot of them that that claim to be off grid, right. um, but then there are there are ones that are. Awesome. Uh, the ones you can get from X Grid truly are off grid capable, and to be able to have the confidence to go places like we did in Wyoming, yeah. um, and even on the East Coast, we've we've been up to Maine and the Northeast BDR uh, with a camper, and then we're going to be taking this one a little bit all over the East Coast as well. Um, but anywhere that I've wanted to take my Gladiator, I've been able to pull one of these trailers behind us. Awesome. Well, Bill, I'll let you get back to editing. Really appreciate it. Bro. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> so uh, check them out over at Cody Wampa Overland. You'll probably recognize there's Dev and there's the Mojave. And so make sure you follow along, man. They're always on adventures. What is it, 88,000 miles now? 80, uh, 83,000 miles in less than two years on the Mojave. Nice. Well, y'all take care. Hey guys, so we're over here with Brad Daru from Overland Daru's. Uh, tell us a little bit about your channel and your rig. Yeah, so I run a, uh, a growing YouTube channel. We adventure with the family. So we kind of look at uh, overlanding and just adventure in general through the lens of like, how do we homeschool our girls while we do it? Um, how do we make it family friendly and accessible? And how do we do it in a way that like, anybody could do it right, right? so um, you won't find a jacked up rig on 40s and all this not expensive yet. gear on my channel <laughs> not yet it's a progression right but yeah. uh, basically our intent is to build a community uh, and show that this is something that you can do as a family and there's a lot of growth and a lot of learning that can take place while doing that absolutely and I, I think you know you brought up an important point of take what you got you yep. know if it's a stock jeep stock toyota it doesn't matter you know my channel is all about building your dreams but there's no sense in spending all your time building a vehicle if you're not going to get out there and enjoy it. Exactly. That's what they're made for. Right. So, I really appreciate it, Brad. Awesome, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, hopefully, uh, go check out his channel, and uh, you might get to see the new build over there. Heck yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, guys, so we're over here with Baptism Overland. So, Asia, tell us a little bit about your channel, man. If people yeah. Know. Um, you know, we do a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, reviews, trips, things like that. Uh, I enjoy making the videos. It's fun. Um, part of the Florida Adventure Trail crew, yeah. and we have been uh, released. We released a video or a, a film two nights ago, which was re very well received. I feel, yeah. um, and I enjoyed being around those guys and 
doing trips with these guys and just the hilarity that's oh, yeah. there. Yeah. It's great camaraderie, you know, no oh, matter what 100%. you drive out here, everybody seems yeah. to get along. Yep. But I did notice you got the ARB bumper. I know mm -hmm. Brad's got the bumper. I got the bumper. I love oh, my yeah. ARB. Yeah, the ARB is great. I'm trying to, I might be getting the rear in okay. a minute. Yeah, yeah. I, I need that one soon. Awesome. So, okay. appreciate it, man. Yeah, Hope man. Check you out. It's good uh, seeing you again, man. It's uh, Baptism Overland. You guys have a website too? Or? Yeah, so I'm kind of switching over to this whole Beast of Burden name. Okay. Uh, not really fully, but it's still Baptism Overland. Yeah. But it's going to be uh, beastofburden.us. Um, but I have to build that out this week. Awesome. I literally just bought the domain before this trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> That's a guy a couple of domains. Yeah, yeah. Got to build yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man enjoyed today's video if you would smash that like button smash that subscribe button ring the bell so you get the notifications and keep coming back for more once again you guys get to come along for the ride i get to share my dream with you but the true purpose is channel is help inform motivate and inspire you so you can get out there and start building your dreams